Hey friends, check out this Art Captain Cut 55 Pro. So this is a pretty lightweight, compact plasma cutter. Um, now this is a non-contact plasma cutter, which is kind of nice. So you've got the, uh, the business end of this thing right here, which does the cutting, and there's a little standoff on it. So you're not actually contacting the metal to start your arc and start your cutting. Which is kind of nice on a plasma cutter because if you want to cut rusty or painted metal uh, you have to have bare metal contact with a lot of plasma cutters this one you can start an arc with no contact whatsoever in fact you can just take and push the button and an arc will go so getting that initial piercing cut on a piece of metal you're trying to cut pretty easy um, this one works on 220 or you can pop an adapter on it that they give you plug it into 110 so just normal household power outlet so that's pretty nice it comes with all the wires and stuff you need to do to to, to start cutting with the thing um, then you need to supply your own air so this thing does have an air dryer because the drier the air is the better it cuts and this guy here you can turn up and down to limit how much air pressure uh, you got to have a minimum of about 75 pounds coming in um, and then you want to dial this into about 55-ish pounds of pressure. Now, you could try to use this thing with like a, uh, a little pancake air compressor. I've done it. It struggles. Um, so you want to have at least a 30-gallon compressor, if not a 60-gallon like that big guy right there. The little DeWalt, a little small for running one of these guys. They're pretty air-hungry because they use that air to do their work. Um, the way this thing comes from the factory. Uh, this thing is on here. You can't take it off and there's a little metal piece here um, that's just like a accepts plastic tube to go on there. Um, of course I want to use air fittings and you can't take the metal fitting out of this thing. It's in here pretty pretty good. So what I basically did, you can kind of see here, is I took this plastic tube and just hose clamped it on here and put an adapter on here so you can use it with a regular airline. That works just fine. Now listen, I'm not a professional fabricator. I'm not even an amateur fabricator. I'm not even a hobbyist. I've used a plasma cutter one time before this and it was a really frustrating experience. And honestly, when I first started using this one, it was kind of frustrating too. What made it easier after I stuck to it, because initially I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to give this thing away. It's too hard to use because my cuts weren't coming out good. I was having trouble cutting through the metal. I was on the struggle bus, but I kept playing with the knob here to affect my, my uh, power level. So it wasn't too high, wasn't too low. And then I really, 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 really concentrated on floating this tip because you don't have to drag this thing across the metal. I was being a gorilla and just shoving it onto the metal and dragging it and it kept getting caught and having problems. You don't do that. You float it, which is why the thing will cut through rusty metal and painted metal too. Once I figured that out, all of a sudden I was having an easier time.
and I got some good cuts out of it. And look at this. I haven't cleaned up the edge of this. I totally freehanded that cut. It actually doesn't look too bad for an idiot like me. What I wanted to do was make a fun little jelly donut, and I almost did it. Look at that. Cut a hole through the center, and then cut a circle on the outside. Now, I'm not even good at drawing circles, so this is big for me. I'm not an artist, okay? So anyway, I'm going to keep plugging away with this one because I found that once you start floating the tip on stuff, it's pretty easy to use. So I'm pretty happy here. I'm not going to give it away. I'm going to keep on pounding away at this stuff and, and make weird circle cuts till I get it right. And if you practice enough, you'll get there. I promise. And the price of entry on this is low enough that you can do it. You know, with it without worrying about blowing a thousand bucks. So seems like a decent machine. Got some little circles cut out. I'm gonna keep plugging away at this thing till I make some cool shapes.